you pick out your fabric, you want it cut to half a yard or 18 inches. First, you're going to want to um, iron your fabric so you get all of these bumps out of it. And it'll make it easier for um, when you are sewing it. Okay, so for the next part, you're going to want to fold your fabric in half. And you're going to want to draw your stocking on the side that you can open, like this, that's not closed. And so you can either freehand draw it, or you can have a stocking that you already have at your house, and you can just trace that, and that's what I'm going to be doing. And you also can use just regular chalk to trace it. Next, you have to pin inside of your seam allowance around all of your stocking. After you have gotten it pinned all um, on the inside of your stocking, then you're going to take your scissors and cut around where you drew. to sew your stocking and if you're going to be using a sewing machine you're just going to want to use a straight stitch and you're going to want to sew all around your stocking everywhere except for up here because you want to leave that part open. So up here at the top you're going to want to make sure to go back and forth a couple of times just to make that seam right there a little bit stronger. So we're going to be making the hook and you have two options. You can either use a ribbon or you can use a piece of fabric like I'm doing and I measured my fabric out to be 7 inches by 1 inch. Then you're going to fold the outsides in towards the middle and then you're going to fold that in half. And then you're going to take your iron and iron that. And then your piece for your hook is now ready. So for to finish your hook, you're going to want to sew down the middle of it. just created you're gonna want to put that now into your stocking and however far down you want it to hang you're gonna figure that out with your loop and you're gonna want to make sure that your loop is on the inside of your stocking and then you're going to fold that piece back over and you're going to pin that into place Now, for the top, you're going to want to fold it down twice, and then you can take your iron and iron it. And then, I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on that side. Now you're ready to go sew. Hi Grizzlies, I'm Jackson Mowers, and today I'm going to be doing a Grizzly game. Here's how it works. So I'm going to be making three cookies, and one of them I'm going to put something bad in, like hot sauce or mustard. And I'm going to have my brother and my dad each pick one, and they will eat it. And whichever one's left, I will eat, and we'll see who gets the bad one. The goal is to not get the bad one, and whoever gets the good cookie wins. Let's go. 
This is my brother, Avery, and this is my dad, Dave, or dad. Um, so they're gonna be playing. Okay, so pick, it could be Avery. Pick a tent. Okay. This one. Now, go ahead and pick a tent. Now, everyone eat a cookie. That's normal. Normal. Is there some mustard in it? I'm getting a little bit of mustard. <laughs> So round two, pick a tent. Dad, you get to go first since you lost last time. This one. Okay. I'll accept this one, sorry. Yeah. Right. Let me just grab yeah, it. Yeah, just grab it. Don't look at it. Avery, pick yours. Big one. Big tent. Okay, and I'll get the last one. Okay, now everyone eat your cookie. Not normal. <laughs> Ew, you got hot sauce? Since you won the cookie challenge by two rounds, then your prize is the Santa hat. Goodbye. That was so fun, guys. Okay, signing off for GTV. I'm Jackson Mowers. Have a great weekend. Hey, Grizzlies. I'm McDavy here, and today I'm going to be decorating sugar cookies with my little sister, Brielle, and we're going to try to guess what they are. Let's go. Hello, this is my little sister Bria. Hi. And we're gonna be decorating sugar cookies and we're gonna try to guess what they are. So let's stop. Each of us get three. Then we just decorate. <laughs> Christmas is waiting for you. It'll never start without you, never start without you. Christmas is all One cookie done. I see everywhere around the fairies of December. You. I see everywhere around the fairies of December. You. Can you feel the joy when Santa Claus is coming to town? You. Sunset and snow. Yes. 
<laughs> okay, she gets a point, I guess. Oh gosh, that, okay, that's first not, snow. You could use white. <laughs> Shush. Within the, if you get it right within the first three tries, then you get a point. So. You have two points, right? Okay. Now we have two points. What is that? I know you have to guess. I don't know. Guess. Just pick a random thing. <laughs> how, how is this supposed to be a thing in human nature? The sun, but... No, puked on by a dog! If you get two more tries. Something it has something to do with Christmas. Oh, more than one. I thought it was the Northern Lights! Try again. How is this supposed to be something? I know this is true. Don't want to ruin the it's not okay, you just try. You have one more guess. <laughs> it's the hottest thing in the world. Guess, it's something with Christmas. You don't say. We're going to be here all day. Probably. I don't know what we're <laughs> Can you give up? Ornament! Got it with the first three tries. You win. I was like, hold on! It's like, mm, just round and plain and like... Thanks for watching. Um, hope you have a good day. And bye. See ya!